Hey, what's up, rock stars? It's Rox, and I am coming to you today with a review for Greenleaf Season 4, Episode 2. So let's get to it, shall we? All right, you guys, so it's the next morning after Charity's big blow-up and Grace goes to check on her. You know, Charity is all apologies. Yeah, she was tripping last night. She's so sorry. You know what, that whole AP thing, don't even worry about it. Can she go back to be a minister of music? You know, and, 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 and Grace was like, I thought you said you were done with singing. Oh, I was tripping, like I said. I, I do want to go in and do that. Can you talk to the sidekick, Phil, and see what he says? And uh, Grace says, okay. Okay, and then she gives her a big hug and she says, it's so good to have my sister back. And Grace is looking at her like, huh? And see, that's what I said about Charity. She gonna fuck it up because she just pouring it on way too thick. And, um, you know, eventually they gonna be like, what is Charity's dumb ass up to? So yeah, Charity, you know, she feels like she's about to pull the wool over her family's eyes. Now later on, she hears her dad singing Unforgettable down at the piano, you know? Hey, Bishop is feeling real good about things. He's back in his home with his family, with his woman. He's going to win her heart over. He's singing Unforgettable down there. So Charity comes out and she sings a couple of, you know, lines with him. And then she was like, what made you draw me out? Okay. Well, Bishop just wants her to know that God has a plan for you. It's going to take you a little while to find out what it is. Bishop Fitz. She was just like, oh, you, you think so, huh? He says, yes. Don't you worry about it, okay? But I gotta go. I gotta go plan a honeymoon. Oh, you and mommy gonna get uh, married again? He says, well, we, we never know, but you know, we gotta put the words out there, you know, speak into, into existence. So, let him skedaddle. Now we see Sophia, Zora, and um, Lady May. They are on their way uh, to a day of fashion and fun, shopping with their granny, you know. Grace, won't you come with us? No, Grace is not going to go. But you know what? When they go up to Hampton to take uh, Sophia to school, they'll stop at some of the outlets, okay? Yeah, so she can't go because she's got to get to the church. She got business to take care of. So she's there with um, Jacob and... Um, <clears throat> You know, sidekick Phil wants to talk to her. I mean, when does he not want to talk to her? She's so sick of all of that shit. She got other things that she got to take care of. Jacob, can you go meet with sidekick Phil? Okay, Jacob will go do that. And um, when he walks away, Corinne tells her that uh, Noah's in her office. No time like the present. Let's take care of this. Okay, so she goes in there. Hey, Noah, how was your flight? He was like, how was my flight? Okay, can you tell me why I got a son um, in, in Phoenix in jail that I didn't know nothing about? Oh, well, you know, it's your, it's your normal story. She was a preacher's kid. She was 18. She was pregnant. You know, she had to leave and um, she didn't want her parents to know, you know, she was going to have the abortion, but she couldn't do that. So she gave the baby up for adoption. Never told Noah um, and, you know, thought that, that was that. Now he has found her reached out, you know, and um, promises to be some somewhat of a, a thorn in their sides, you know. He was like, but why didn't you tell me? She was like, you know, I just, I, I just didn't, all right? And, and now it's going to be a problem because, you know, I didn't tell my daughter. You haven't, though you don't even know, so you couldn't tell your wife. And, you know, you already, is real tricky with, because, <laughs> you know, that wife ain't feeling Grace at all because, remember, Grace was fucking around with knowing the wife found out. Okay, so um, she really ain't trying to hear no story about a baby between the two of them. And on top of that, Noah tells her that the wife can't have babies. Okay, so yeah, that, that, that compounds it quite a bit. And now we face with what we gonna do about this. Okay, Grace tells him, I guess at that little meeting that ain't nobody gonna say shit. Okay, so when he leaves out of there, he bumps into Jacob in the hallway. Hey, Noah, hey, hey, you know, good to see you. Hey, come on by tonight, you know, by the parents' house. Oh, uh, no, I'm not going to be able to do that. Oh, you know, they they did a little commiserating about their wives being crazy and how, you know, they still dealing with their crazy wives. But, um, yeah, he's not going to be around for that. He got to catch a plane. So don't let him know that he came on by and uh, let that be that. Okay, Jacob was like, oh, okay. You know, Jacob, he thick neck thick head he ain't got much sense but anyway he on his way to go talk to sidekick phil you know sidekick phil was like uh i thought i said i wanted to talk to the pastor okay not the associate pastor he, jacob was like well she got called into a meeting so what is it that you need well sidekick phil has a problem with this summer camp that they have you know it's not diverse enough Okay. Too many black folks where the white folks at. Well, you know what? Jacob says there's so much diversity that they are facing. You know, we kind of like to have them come to this and that they concentrate on their black history, their black roots. Okay. This is kind of on purpose that 
it's all a bunch of black kids. But no, Hope and Harmony is all about inclusion of everybody and diversity. So we ain't paying for that. Okay, and we're going to cut that shit off the list. The church has been doing it for years, so now it's a problem, okay? It's always a fucking problem with H&H. &H. So Jacob goes to tell Grace, okay? Sidekick Phil said it ain't enough white folks and Asians and Latinos and Latinas and the others there, so he gonna cut the program, and Grace was like, I'll pay for it, okay? He was like, oh, you will? Yeah, I'll pay for it, okay? Now, you know it's gonna be a lot. I got it. Don't worry about it. Oh, okay, Big Willie. Hey, listen, when I was walking over there to meet with Sidekick Phil, I, I bumped into Noah. She was like, yeah, I, I, I saw him, you know. He was like, is everything okay? And she was like, yeah, you know, he's just having some problems, you know, with his wife or whatever. And, you know, Jacob was like, oh, I know about problems with the wife. I said, tell us something we don't know. So, yeah, you know, she kind of reroutes Jacob, so he won't think nothing about Noah. And so when he leaves, you know, she does call and set up a spending account for her son that's in jail, okay? It's the least she can do, right? Now, remember Jacob is representing this new basketball player. What's his name? Dante? Okay, well, Dante, you know, shows up at the church. He's gonna pick up uh, Jacob. You know, he comes speeding up in some race car, you know, some fast exotic car. It looked like a, you know, souped up Kia to me. What kind of car was it, y'all? Anyway, I don't know. Um, he's talking to Jacob. You know, they gonna go hang out for a minute. You know, he tells um, his homeboy, you know, <laughs> like Stacy in the wood, get your cry baby ass in the back seat. <laughs> See, because he about to take Pastor Jacob and we going to go, you know, to the gym. So they go to the gym and Dante tells him, hey, listen, player, you know, I, I know they hired you to be kind of like a leash and, you know, making sure that I'm staying in line and all of that. So what I got for you is I'm going to give you this $10,000. And, uh, you know, you don't have to report everything to everybody, okay? And Jacob was like, ah, uh, you know, I, I learned the hard way that, you know, I shouldn't be taking money from people like this, you know. Um, put your money away, you know, you don't have to give me that, you know. And he, he takes the upstanding uh, uh, reverend, the pastor route. Okay, he's a good guy. He's not out there for no money. And Dante was like, oh, it was just a test anyway. Okay, look like you are on the up and up. Okay, you might make a saint out of me yet. Okay, I was like, don't don't put your money all in that basket just shit. <laughs> Y'all know Jacob, okay? But that seemed to help Jacob out right there. Oh, he passed the test, y'all. Jumping over to Sophia and Zora and Lady May. They out shopping. They having a good time. You know, the girls are trying on clothes. And um, while they're doing that, Lady May gets a, looks like she gets some sort of um, notice in her in her phone. And all I can see is it says something around $38,000, okay? Give or take a few. And uh, she was just like, son of a bitch. Okay, she go on and hit the damn mirror. You know, they come running out like, grandmother, is everything okay? And she was just like, oh, I dropped my phone. Okay, but uh, she mad now. So she didn't take it on back home and cut the fucking fashion and fun trip and everything, y'all. So she come on home and, you know, Bishop, he full of love on the stairs. You know, he didn't booked up their little honeymoon thing and um you know when she walks in you know he's just like hello dear and she was just like not right now james okay she go up the stairs and he was like did the girls piss you off and she was like no okay it's that bitch connie okay she gonna send me an invoice for the day with lady may and how dare she think that she can bully me you know so she goes on and she throws out all of these indignant uh words about <laughs> connie i was waiting for her to just say one good bitch it never came but i'll say it for her. connie is a bitch she ain't really trying to listen to nothing bishop is trying to say right now you know he got the tickets for the honeymoon okay but not right now bishop i'm sorry you're gonna have to put that away because she has got connie in her crosshairs right now no she goes storming off she said god don't like ugly Okay, so, um, poor Bishop, you know, them hopes are dashed for now. Now, Charity, she meets with sidekick Phil, and, um, you know, she's starting to have some second thoughts. She's not sure if she can do this, and, you know, of course, sidekick Phil has got to turn up the charm now. Do you think that I asked you to be the AP just because I'm trying to buy you off? Oh, no, he sees some hope in her. You know, she really does have it in her to be... She was like, if you would say that and you didn't mean it, that would be cruel. But no, sidekick Phil says he mean it, okay? You gonna be the AP, girl? Don't even worry yourself. You can do this. Go on and tell on your family. Yeah, he give her some line about her being a jewel that he can see. And, you know, bless Charity's heart. She's gullible. As a matter of fact, I kind of felt sorry for old dumbass Charity. You know, because the girl has been through a lot. 
And for some reason, she just continues to reach out for the first man that wants to show her some sort of attention and you can already see where it's gonna go. I mean, I'm not, I, I'm not above thinking that sidekick Phil will sleep with her just to keep her on track, you know? So I, I did, I did feel it, you know, as a woman, I did feel a little tinge of, of, uh, you know, sorrow for little old Charity with a dumb ass. Now, after Sidekick Field meets with uh, Charity, he goes and meets with Grace. And, uh, you know, he about to tell her how he gonna cut this program. She was like, I already paid for it. He was like, oh, you paid for it? And you know that's about 100000 Yeah, I know. Oh, you have 100000 Yes, I do. Any more questions? Well, he ain't really got much else to say after that. And she was like, also, my sister wants to be minister of music. I know you're gonna say no. And he was like, absolutely not. She's fine. She can be one. Okay, he's like, see how easy I am when you go in and spend your money for a camp for black kids. <laughs> now, child, let's jump it on over to Zora Mama. I knew I, I couldn't remember her name, but you guys all came through. That's why I love the rock star. Zora Mama is looking at real estate. Bitch, do you want to be in the house or not? Okay, well, Zora Mama want to be out the house. All right, she looking at real estate, ain't got a quarter to first. Girl, what you think is going to buy this house, child? You quit wasting these people time. So she get out there, she looking at the house. Um, you know, and, 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 and just like a real estate agent would, you know, you got to get this place, you know, it's, it's, you know, up and coming. It's this is the best thing happening, you know, oh, Z Zora Mama want it. Okay. So she go back and she tell, um, Jacob, Jacob says, oh no, 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 baby. Cause let me tell you what happened. You know, I met with Dante and I passed the test. I didn't take $10,000. And I don't really know what the Lord want me to do, but it has something to do with um 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 that land because Zora Mama want to sell the land that they had where the church was. Use that as the down payment, and let, let's get this show on the road. Let's start off on something new on our own. I can understand what Zora Mama's saying, okay, but I also can understand what Jacob is saying. Not necessarily, I don't know what the Lord is leading him to do, but letting go of some prime property, some land like that, you know, we as black people got to remember that land is where your riches is. So Jacob said the Lord about to lead him in all of this, so um, just, just give him a week, okay, let him have a conversation with God. And, and see what God tells him. And if he don't tell him nothing in a week, then we can possibly look into possibly selling that land. So the next day he goes back to that gym that he was at with Dante. You know, he's praying to the Lord, you know, please show me a sign. And <laughs> at the same time, that there Zora Mama on the computer reaching out to her friend to find out how much that land is worth. Okay, so yeah, we still not on the same page here, but I guess an inquiry. The inquiry couldn't be that bad, now can it? Now jumping back over to Zora and Sophia. So they in Zora's place and you know that the girls are talking. Um, Sophia's supposed to be going to Hampton for Summer Bridge, but you know what? Maybe she'll stay and she won't go until fall and you know her and Zora can hang out there in um, Zora's new lofty uh, cabin and um, you know, stay there with her, even go to Bible study, you know, with, with Granny. And uh, Sophia says, yeah, I'll stay here. I'll even wake you up for the Bible study, but she's still not ready to take that step. Okay, well, Zora, Zora fine with that, okay? So yeah, she's excited about it. She goes in the house and she's gonna tell um, Grace, you know, the good news that she's not leaving until the fall, okay? Except that Grace has to tell her something too. So sit it on down, baby, okay? And uh, well, we don't see her tell her, but we know that she told her about her son that's in jail. And Sophia doesn't understand, okay? All this time you were saying that, you know, grandma and grandpa wasn't there for Faith, the sister that's died, that was killed. No, sorry, not killed. She killed herself. Um, and you gave your child away. Okay, Grace is like, no, 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 you know, I'm gonna be here for you and all this, but you know what? Sophia's just like, yeah, I, 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 I don't have anything else to say to you. She's speechless, okay, that her mom could do something like this. And now she tells her that she don't want her to take her to Hampton, okay? We didn't move that fall trip right on back up to Summer Bridge and uh, she getting the fuck on without her mama taking her. Grace says, okay, I mean, I know you upset, but it's way too much on the line right now. We need to keep this between us. And Sophia's like, mm, mm, mm. just like I said, a hypocrite. Now we see Bishop. He drives up in the middle of the night or, you know, it's nighttime at the church and meets Corinne out front. You know, she hands him some paperwork and uh, you already know it's gonna be some shit. So he takes it back to the place and he gives it to Lady May and he tells her, you see that there? Okay, Hope and Harmony is paying off uh, Connie. 
that's how she's you know able to do this and lady may tells him that this is not the godly way the reason that they are in the mess that they are is because of him and his proud um you know ways and not being um letting the lord lead them it's the lord's will to make this church come back to them not him you know plotting and scheming and getting paperwork and trying to find out who's doing what around here he was like i'm trying to get the church back for you but she was like this is not the way james we have got to get this house back in order we got to get our hearts back in order okay we are not using this paperwork i said for now okay lady may can keep up on this righteous uh way that she's going but you know what i didn't see her tear that paperwork i <laughs> mean <laughs> but we'll give her the benefit of the doubt maybe lady may you know did learn something in her conversations with uh, Patty LaBelle. What was the lady's name? Whatever it was. So, uh, you know, she done told Bishop a few things. He goes back to their room or his room. And, you know, right now the honeymoon trip is is dashed. It's, it's not happening. So he puts the tickets back in the drawer. And we'll worry about that another time. Now the next morning, Sophia gets up. She packed up her car. And she got the fuck on back to Hampton without Grace. You know, Grace is heartbroken. Like, you know, where, you know, I thought we were going to go together. Oh, Sophia don't want to go with you, you hypocrite. You didn't give your baby up. Okay. I'm going to go pick up my dad. I called him yesterday and asked him to come with me up to Hampton. So I'm going to the airport and then we shooting up to Hampton sans Grace. Okay. So Grace is upset. She goes in the house. Lady May was like, I thought you were going with her. Yeah, she's not going. Okay. Zora, even Zora was like, where is Sophia going, honey? Sophia got, like I said, the fuck on. Okay. We also see that Lady May takes it on to the church. She sees Charity and they're trying to beat down Corinne for some information. But uh, Lady May was like, come on and talk to me for a second. Listen, I know you think you helping out and everything, but you, you're not going to help if you get yourself fired around here. Don't be printing out paperwork for Bishop and shit. He don't need to. We, that ain't the way that we going to get this church back. Here, I'm going to give you this check for 38000 and some change. You give it to Connie and make sure everybody around here knows that Lady May pays all of her debts. Yes, we don't steal from the church around here. You know, and Corinne is just like, oh, okay. And she says, listen, I know it's a turbulent time that the church is going through, but what is going to get us through it all is our faith in God, Corinne. Okay, again, Lady May is, child, she is on this holy horse. I said, come on, Lady May, that's right, preach to the people. And back at the house, Grace gets a phone call from an unknown caller. We know that is her son, AJ, in jail now. And, um... AJ tells her, listen, he, he got a chance to go to a halfway house and um, he, he, he basically want to know if uh, Grace is going to help her help him out. She said, oh, you need a place to stay. You're going to need some money. Right. And uh, he says, yeah, you know, you're going to help me. And she says, yeah, she's going to help him. He said, OK, thanks. Bye. <laughs> I was like, what? Is something wrong with the boy? Okay, I mean, I guess. I mean, what, what else we got to talk about? Yeah, 18 years, I don't really know you. All I need is, is you going to give me some money and give me a place to stay. I guess Grace plan on moving them down there to the church. Oh, Lord, that is definitely not going to help them get that church back now, is it? We'll see. All right, rock stars, that's it. Let me get off of here, get back to work. Make sure that you rate, comment, and subscribe to the channel. I'm It's Rocks. The channel is for It's Rocks, and everything else I do will be in the bottom bar. All right, all right. So I hope that you have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day, and I plan on doing the same. Till next time, rock stars. Bye.